I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best physical comedy moments on Saturday Night Live. I see it, he's the scoundrel. He's the troublemaker right here. Time to turn this dude out off all. Turn it, baby. I know, I know, Shonda. I can't stop. Hey, it's Sally O'Malley. I'm proud to say that I'm 50 years old. I'm not one of those gals who's afraid to tell a real age. And I like to kick, stretch. For this list, we're looking at SNL moments, characters, and sketches where some, if not all, of the humor is derived from the physicality of the performers. And live from down below, it's your comments. So please feel free to leave one. All right, let's get into it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp. Oh, sure, I'd be delighted. Just let me turn off some of these lamps. This hilarious sketch from 2012 is literally three and a half minutes of Kristen Wiig as actress and singer Liza Minnelli trying to turn off a lamp. Is there a little knob on here that you turn and everything goes black? There's really no complicated joke here, and there doesn't need to be. The laughs come entirely from Wig's awesome, exaggerated theatricality. The kicks, the jazz hands, the fossy neck, and this wasn't the first time we saw Wig do this either. The previous season, we got to watch her turn another mundane task into comic gold, with Anne Margaret tries to throw away a wad of paper into a trash can. Let's make this happen. <laughs> Number 9, Chevy Chase's Pratt Falls. Uh -oh. There were so many of these falls of the week that we couldn't choose just one. So here's Chevy Chase falling down over and over again. No problem. Chase was part of the original cast of Not Ready for Primetime Players that shook up TV sketch comedy back in 1975. And for all but two shows that first season, he was the guy that got to say those iconic words. Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Usually that line would follow a pratfall. Often, Chase would perform these falls as President Gerald Ford. Now for my second announcement. <laughs> Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Number 8, Girlfriend's Game Night. Horace's sons are suing me again. Horace, where are you going? To the Chicago... Oh, Horace! Great physical comedy doesn't always have to be big. Sometimes comedy can come from simple movements. <laughs> Is he still laughing, or is maybe something wrong? <laughs> Which is the case with this funny sketch from season 43. Cecily Strong comes to Girlfriend's Game Night with her much older husband, Horace, Bill Hader in a bald cap and a wheelchair. And some of the biggest laughs in the sketch come as Horace tries to navigate his wheelchair around the room. So much so that Hader backing up and pushing the table has him and the other actors laughing as much as the audience. You know what? No. <laughs> of course, this isn't the first time we've seen the brilliant Bill Hader break. And if you liked Russell Crowe and Les Miserables, you might want to hear Jasper the Gorilla pass a kidney stone. <laughs> Number seven, Wild and Crazy Guys. Uh Jörg, my brother, there will certainly be a lot of swinging in our bachelor pad tonight. Decades before the head-bobbing Butabi brothers appeared on Saturday Night Live, there were two Czech bachelors hunting foxes in New York City bars and clubs. The Festrunk brothers, played by Dan Aykroyd and Steve Martin, refer to themselves as two wild and crazy guys. There's no other pair of Czech brothers who cruise and swing so successfully in tight slacks. <laughs> We are two wild and crazy guys! And all their moving and shaking and bobbing around perfectly accentuated their thick accents and wannabe playboy attitudes. Few recurring characters have reached the popularity that these two enjoyed. 
So much so that Martin and Aykroyd brought the duo back 35 years after they made their first appearance on the show in a dating game sketch. So get ready to take a hike because we are two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> Number six, synchronized swimming. Oh, it's it's not going to be easy. My brother and I know it's not going to be easy. Harry Shearer is probably best known for his many voices on The Simpsons, including Mr. Burns. Excellent. Christopher Guest wrote and acted in such films as This Is Spinal Tap and Best in Show, which he also directed. 3,000 dogs competing for Best in Show. And Martin Short is one of the great comedic performers of his generation. Although the judges don't count it, deck work is a very important part of Lawrence's preparation for the water. In 1984, these three greats came together in one of the best SNL digital film shorts of all time, about two unathletic brothers trying to make it as male synchronized swimmers. The whole thing is hysterical, but the routines in the pool are classic. Point to any comedy fan who was old enough to be watching SNL in 1984 and say, I know you, I know you. They'll get the joke. You're just pointing at him. Hey, you. I know you. I know you. Number five, Mary Catherine Gallagher wants to join a gang. Molly Shannon certainly loves to kick, stretch, and kick, but she didn't only break out those sweet moves as 50-year-old Sally O'Malley. So I put on my red pants because I like it to dance. <laughs> One of her other popular recurring characters during her time on SNL was the made-for-TV movie-quoting Catholic schoolgirl Mary Catherine Gallagher. Well, maybe, maybe a little demonstration would help change your mind, huh? Huh? Hi! And in this sketch from season 24, Mary kicks, stretches, kicks, and throws herself against bathroom stalls. There sure is no denying the physical comedy here. The one popular move that she didn't pull in this one that she did in most Mary sketches was the old smelling your hands after putting them in your armpits move. Some, sometimes when I get nervous, yes. I stick my hands under my arms and then I smell my fingers like that. <laughs> Number four, Chippendales. I know you've been put through a long, long audition, and it's been hard. But I think that in itself is a testament to how good both of you are and just how difficult our choice is. The Chippendales sketch from season 16 has become one of the most popular in the history of the show and is often credited as the moment that launched Chris Farley to stardom. Some even knew before the live performance that it was going to be huge. Mike Myers has said that he, quote, knew in rehearsal that a star was born. Farley would go on to make a career out of his willingness and ability to completely commit to big physical comedy like few others ever have. That included the rest of his time on SNL and his work in films such as Tommy Boy and Beverly Hills Ninja. I may not be the best ninja. I may not be one with the universe, but I will tell you this. No one messes with my brother! Everybody wants to <laughs> Number three, Rebecca LaRue, the flirting expert. Well, it, it looks like, you know, you've started flirting already. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. <laughs> this might be one of the least well-known sketches and characters on the list, but it's also one of the funniest. Kristen Wiig has had many memorable moments on Weekend Update. I heard some people liked it. Not me. But one of her best physical comedy roles might just be as flirting expert Rebecca LaRue. In 2011, Wig brought LaRue to the Weekend Update desk to give anchor Seth Meyers a lesson in flirting. I'm sorry, Re Rebecca, do you want to explain what you're doing right now? <laughs> just like body language stuff, you know, that people can do. <laughs> Wig took classic flirting moves up about 10 notches, and the resulting physical comedy is hysterical. Little small things like... <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca! Rebecca! It culminates in Wig just spreading her legs right at Myers. His shock is genuine because it was totally improvised in that moment by Wig. Rebecca! Rebecca! What are you doing? Number two, the Roxbury guys. The Butabi brothers, better known as the Roxbury guys, were characters that relied completely on physical comedy, and people loved it. Hey. Uh, okay. Go to any college bar in the 90s, and there's a good chance you'd see some 20-something guys bobbing their heads and pointing at girls asking, you, me, him, you, me? These pickup artist wannabes played by Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan were the wild and crazy guys of the 90s. Hey. Who are the new guys? 
Two pairs of siblings even came together on the show one time in the season 24 premiere. What's going on here? What's going on? What are you guys with them? I will tell you, I also do the Roxbury guys head thing a lot more than I care to admit. But our number one is something I would not impersonate, but just because I would hurt myself too much. So let's look through some honorable mentions and then we'll see our top SNL physical comedy moment. The French Chef. Meryl Streep might have been nominated for an Oscar, but Aykroyd's Julia Child is the funniest. So, oh, oh, now I've done it, I've cut the dickens out of my finger, well. Brothers, Kyle Mooney and Beck Bennett do a reverse Kool-Aid man through the wall. Spartan cheerleaders. The funniest parts of these Will Ferrell and Sherry O'Terry sketches were the cheers. Hit it. <laughs> kissing family. There are kissing cousins, and then there is this. Hey, just kidding. Hey, Feliz Navidad, huh? <laughs> Taste test. Melissa McCarthy pushes the comedy to an explosive conclusion. Not me, I could eat a whole bottle. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could eat a whole bottle too. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Matt Foley, Van Down by the River. All right, how's everybody? Good, good, good. Could number one on the list go to anyone else but the great Chris Farley and his motivational speaker, Matt Foley? It could not. Oh, yes, Deshaun told you. My name is Matt Foley. The character made his SNL debut during Farley's third season on the show. He was an immediate hit cracking up the audience, as well as the other members of the cast on stage, which was always a goal of Farley's. Now I wonder, Brian, from what I've heard, you're using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies. As David Spade would later recall, quote, in rehearsal, he's done the thing with his glasses, but he'd never done the twisting his belt and hitching up the pants thing. He saved that for the live performance, and so none of us had ever seen it. He knew that would break me. Break him it did, but we really can't blame him. Old Matt's gonna be your shadow. Here's you, here's Matt, there's you, there. What, no love for Mango? I'm kidding. You cannot top Chris Farley in the physical comedy department. Patrick Swayze tried. Anyway, be sure to let us know in the comments what your favorite SNL physical comedy moment was or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.